go with the upcoming games that are too good to be true, starting with Crimson Desert. This massive open world single player RPG looks absolutely amazing. The new gameplay that the developer shared, which is I don't know, about 50 minutes of gameplay looks absolutely amazing. It, it's, it's like a mix of The Witcher to Skyrim to Assassin's Creed and if it was all made by Rockstar Games, this gameplay is, I don't know, it's the best thing that I've seen from an open world RPG in a really long time. Just the look of the open world itself, the horses, the civilians running around doing their day to day routine, the combat, everything looks like it's too good to be true, just take a look at it and let me know in the comments. Can you believe it? Banner's house was completely ransacked. They even took the horns off his goats. Well, I'll be damned. The Grey Man, here of all places. Looking for my comrades. Greymanes. Seen any? Captain, I think a Greymane's gone and found us. How much was Mutant's bounty again? Two gold pieces? Is your life worth so little? <sighs> Enough. Forgive, my men. They may have given the wrong impression. You may call me Matthias. Oh, I've always wanted to test my skills against a grey man. What say you? You're here, standing before me. What reason have you to refuse my challenge? None that I can think of. Ah, so it's true. Grey manes never run from a fight. <laughs> I've heard the lengths you'll go for the sake of your mission. You seek radiant fragments that fall from the sky. Is that right? What's it to you? Oh, mere curiosity. Now, to order! No further destruction, I assure you. Do your worst, Greymane!
fire's getting there worse. Still people inside. The house is about to collapse. Oh. 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 Great Solomon, oh. save us! Oh. Oh. Vile scum! Oh. To do such a despicable thing. There are still souls trapped within. How many? Oh, run, flee, all hope is lost. Three, three people. Will you help us? Without aid, they'll all die. Oh. 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 How can anyone get to them? Oh. Please help. The, the fire is spreading. No. no. I, we must save them. No, you oh. fool. We still must save who we can. Oh. For Solomon's sake. Was that rock worth all this? We should have just given it away. This is not the time for such musings. We must save our people first. I've got to quell the flames first. <laughs> Got to get them out quickly. <clears throat> you, the Grey Maid, not here to fight. Who the fuck asked? We were setting off to find you anyway. <laughs> the branch masters put a generous bounty on your head. One whole gold piece. Seems a bit low. Low, you cheeky cunt. Get him! Kill him! These men have no sense of hospitality. Next up in the list of upcoming games that are too good to be true is Stalker 2, which the developers just shared a brand new gameplay video of it, and it looks amazing. I mean, I just I can't wait to get lost in this world, just doing random side quests, fighting bandits, monsters, and so on. I mean, the open world looks fully alive, and the action is intense. Check it out. Okay. Is uh is Arjun always this noisy? Those fucks 
So you've seen an anomaly outside the zone. That's why I'm here. I've heard the rumors, but never firsthand. And I've got a funny feeling there's more trouble to come. Jesus. This is the dark side of the zone. But there's another. The shining side. It's here all around us, but we cannot see it. I wonder what's out there. Eternal Spring? The Klondike of artifacts? A new home? Or our heart's desires? Next up we have Reanimal from the creators of Little Nightmares 1 and Little Nightmares 2. This game is looking absolutely brutal and horrific, much more horror than Little Nightmares and I'm absolutely all in for it, check it out. I thought you were dead.
Next up, take a look at Zucosis, which is releasing very soon this September, and we're talking about an action or game that's about a zookeeper where you just have to take care of the animals and such, but some of them will transform at night and it will try to attack you, so you have to attack them and also defend yourself. <laughs> finally awake good get up it's time to get to work what the hell what did you do to me i took care of your health working with animals requires prevention you wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home would you by the way i took your phone as well i'll return it in the morning after the shift so i got the job i thought we had an interview my wife is waiting for me outside the job will be yours if you make it through the night let's go I still have a lot to show you. Most of the bricks will be left as a reserve. And take these ones with you. It's time to show you our workhorse. something in the works that you're not ready to know about. And here's our K-A-T-I-E, Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. This one's name is Bo. Remember that, he's got quite the appetite. Or like in that regard. <laughs> Don't forget to put the bucket back in its place.
Next up, take a look at Dead Island 2 Neighborhood Watch. This is a this is like a brand new game. I've been waiting for this, and I think every single Dead Island fan have been waiting for this mode to be released. It's something completely new from the original game, and it looks actually really awesome. It's like a whole new experience. Check it out. Gets left behind in the LA evacuation with five days to prepare before an undead horde descends on your shelter. You'll spend the first four days gathering supplies and completing objectives, readying yourselves for the final wave of zombies. But before venturing out, you'll need to assemble your squad. Each Bobcat offers a unique class with signature weapons, talents, and abilities to level up and customize. The Chemist class specializes in cooking up corrosive booby traps and explosive concoctions, ideal for giving the undead a warm welcome to the neighborhood. Medics are a pivotal part of any successful team. They can drop deployable med stations for healing and even assist teammates to help stack the odds in your favor. And last but not least, with their signature crossbows, meat stick traps, firecrackers, and throwing knives. Hunters prefer to keep the streets clean by dealing heavy damage from a distance. In Neighborhood Watch, there is no fury mode to get you out of a tight spot. So playing to each other's strengths and working as a team is key to survival. As each day passes, you'll earn the chance to unlock powerful rewards, like new abilities, rare weapons, traps, and shelter defenses. But with only one reward to choose from each day, you'll need to pick wisely as you gear up for the impending siege. On the fifth and final day, you'll need to fortify your shelter with the DIY defenses you've unlocked throughout your playthrough and get ready for an intense wave-based scenario that will test not only your skills, but your ability to work as a team. The only question that remains is, are you ready? Welcome to the watch, Bobcats. See you in LA. Next up, we have Nivalis. This is a cyberpunk life simulation game where you can do pretty much anything that you want. There's some action also, and you can build your own restaurant, you can explore, you can go fishing, live your own life. Check it out. There's a rhythm here that only the most observant residents of Nivalis dance to. Nivalis stretches out in all visible directions. This city can be a bewildering place full of strange sights and even stranger people. Luckily for you, I'm here to help you find your feet. I took the liberty of scanning 14,682 publications related to the running of a successful hospitality business, and I can confirm that you are performing above average. Good news. Watch the sunset and listen to the fishermen's tales. One day, maybe you'll be able to tell your own stories. Sleep now. Rest. When the day turns night, leave your life behind. Neon feelings, just another night. Not sure how long I can stay. The spire is light years away. Come and find me where the night ends. Next up we have Jump Ship, which is, I don't really like to call it that, but it's a dollar store Star Citizen game because it's an indie game, but, but it has all that you want in a sci-fi exploration action co-op game. It looks amazing, you can control your ship, build your own ship, go to different planets, do a ton of missions with your friends and so on, it looks awesome. Mount turrets, tackle emergencies, and ensure your ship's integrity to complete missions and reap the rewards. While Jump Ship is best enjoyed with up to four players, solo players are welcome too. 
Each mission in Jump Ship demands strategic choices. Jump to riskier sectors with high risk, high reward, or take a safer route. Do you want components for your ship? Do you need repairs? Or perhaps some extra credits? Alright, we just arrived. There seems to be a jammer preventing us from jumping further. Let's make our way there and disable it. Using our sensors, we can tell that ships are patrolling the area. With some good positioning and teamwork though, I'm sure we can make our way past them undetected. We made it. Time to enter the facility. On foot, it's essential to stay together and use all gear and equipment you've looted to stay alive. When that's done and all loot is collected, it's time to return to the ship and... Pirates! All crew to their stations! Oof, that was close. Good thing nothing got severely broken. Let's jump to the next sector. I wonder what we'll find there. Jump ship is packed with a wide range of challenges from intense ship battles to on-foot exploration and sometimes a mix of both. Every jump will feel fresh and give you something different. So in a nutshell, you start with choosing your ship, you go on a mission, reap the rewards, and then return back to your hangar. There you can upgrade your ships, purchase new equipment before embarking on a new adventure. And that's Jump Ship. Create wish list, like and subscribe, and join our community. Next up, take a look at Archeist, which by its first reveal Twitter looks absolutely crazy. And the combat looks great. I don't know, I don't think it's a real gameplay Twitter. It might include some real gameplay in there, but I don't know, it looks too good to be true. Let me know about it. Photorealistic action FPS game second loop, which by this trailer looks really special. shall not flip. 
flinch from crushing any insurgency or uprising with the inexorable. This is a stark admonition to all who would presume. Next up again we have another photorealistic action shooter game which is Black State. This game I don't think I've seen any game that looks this good to date and the action looks pretty great. It's also very brutal. Check it out. We don't know. You need people. Time is short. That was the last one. Access granted. I think I found a new portal. Gen M lab, but there's no record in our database. Must be a secret. Search everywhere. All right. Stay alert. It's packed with hostiles. Understood. Gotta see what this lab is for. Finally, we have X Killer, one of my most anticipated game of whatever year it releases. It's like a mix of Cyberpunk and Fallout, and you're just a cowboy that will explore a massive open world and do some bounty hunting. You can hunt targets, do some missions here and there, and explore a massive world. What the hell is going on here?
Event flag for security. Upload arrow. Shit, I'm out. Please stand. Thank you.